kailangan ko ng pera. Budgeted ako ngayon. Saan ko naman kukunin ng pambayad siyan? Uutang na lang ulit ako. Lahat ng tao ay nangangailangan ng pera. Money is the one thing that can be passed around but can never be enough. Minsan, naiisip na lang natin na lahat na lang ba ay may katapat na pera? They say that money makes the world go round. Others say that money is the root of all evil. Ngunit, bakit nga ba ang pera ay never nagiging enough? Instead of money controlling us, what we must learn, however, is how to control our future. When we control our future, kailangan natin maintindihan na hindi ito nakabase lamang sa ating employer o sa trabaho o di kaya sa gobyerno o sa banko. It actually starts and ends with you. We need to put our future in our hands. When we put our future in our hands, money becomes part of it. We must make money, save money, accumulate money, and protect money. We must be our own money manager. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin alamin kung how money works and make money work for you. To build a strong financial foundation, we must learn the building blocks to financial freedom, proper protection on life, health, disability, manage debt and reduce liability, have an emergency fund, build up savings and investment. Easier said than done. That is why we need to understand first what and how we handle money. Oo, bagong sweldo. Pakiramdam nyo marami kayong pera. Pero guys, tanangin ko muna kayo. Ito bang pinaglalaanan ninyo ng pera ay kailangan nyo ba talaga? Ngayon may pera tayo. Pero matapos ang ilang araw lamang, feeling pulubi na ulit. Tama ba? Ito ang kariniwang eksena ng mga Pilipino. Shopping ngayon, makakaporma, pero ubus na later. Iinom ngayon, hindi makatanggi, ubus na ulit later. Kakain sa mamahaling restaurant, bukas wala ng pera. Travel ngayon, tapos sa susunod na mga araw, mamumulubi na ulit. Dapat din natin tandaan na hindi sa lahat ng pagkataon, ay maaaring ubusin ng pera. Dahil kapag naubos ito, this is where we experience financial stress. Looks and sounds familiar? Napaka-common sa ating mga Pilipino ang kahirapan natin sa pagtanggi, lalo na sa kapamilya. Isa-isahin natin ang mga sitwasyon na ito. Una, hindi naman masama ang mag-party. In fact, Ito ay magandang gawain para makasama mo ang mga kaibigan at kamag-anak. Ngunit dapat din alalahanin na magambag lamang kung ano ang kaya. Don't pressure yourself. It is your presence that counts. Pangalawa, ang pag-shopping ay hindi pinagbabawal. Ngunit, dapat natin alalahanin kung ito ba ay kailangan natin. Obserbahan din ang sarili. Baka naman we might be shopping because naiingit tayo sa mga kasama natin. Tandaan na envy can lead to competition. Competition can lead to more shopping. The moment kasi na nakita natin na may bagong gamit ang iba, gusto rin natin meron tayo noon. Just shop within your needs, not because you want to compete. Another thing is that we might be shopping with emotions. Dahil stressful ang work, Pakiramdam mo na shopping will make you feel better. Remember, we must not be controlled by our emotions. That is the quickest way to go broke. Madaming paraan para mag-relax at unwind. At hindi ito nangangailangan ng pera. Tulad ng pagbabasa ng libro o pag-stroll sa park. Lastly, hindi masama ang tumulong at magpautang. Ngunit, do not forget to leave some for yourself also. Napakahirap bayaran ng utang na loob dahil wala itong hangganan. Pero kailangan mo din isipin, kailan matatapos ang pagbabayad ng utang na loob? Mahirap din humindi. Yes na lang ng yes para walang masabing masama, kaya pikit mata na lang kahit labag ito sa kalooban mo. Ngunit isipin din, 
hanggang kailan mo titiisin ang kahirapan para lumigaya ang ibang tao. Learning how to budget Saying that you're working on a budget is easier said than done. Sabi nga nila, we should know our expenses, our priorities, how much we earn, and where we should be placing our money in. Ating tingnan kung paano ito dapat gawin. Know your expenses. Marami tayong pinagkakagasusan araw-araw. It is very easy for us to forget where all our money went. Therefore, a list of our expenses would come in handy in order to know exactly how much and where our money went. Know your spending priorities. This is where our needs and wants come into play. Madalas, hindi natin nakikita ang pagkakaiba ng dalawa. We tend to buy stuff we don't need and end up with a pile of unpaid bills. We need to know our priority and make sure we put our needs first before our wants. Hindi masama ang pagbigyan ng sarili paminsan-minsan. You deserve to enjoy the fruit of your hard work. Just remember that we need to put our financial obligations at the top of our priority list. Know how much you are earning. There is only one known and true fact. If you spend more than what you earn, you will end up borrowing money. Know how much you earn. When you spend more than what you earn, this is where we start to be financially stressed. Know your spending limits. Ask yourself this, Can I afford it? There is no problem on whether you think an item is a need or a want. That can be subjective. But what should be an issue for you is that if you can afford it, know your spending limits so you don't get overboard in your expenses. Know where to put your money. As mentioned a while ago, We have the power to decide where to spend our money on. But you must know where to place it so it won't run out. Kailangan natin tandaan ang kahalagahan ng paghahanda para sa future. Importante ang magkaroon ng savings at ang pag-control sa ating expenses. With this in mind, it is very much possible for us to achieve financial freedom. It takes guts, willpower, and a whole lot of discipline to make sure that when the time comes, we can truly say that we are financially ready.